putting a price on carbon and returning the revenue generated to each household is the simplest, most effective way to reduce its use without creating an unfair burden on middle and lower class citizens. Economic modeling, Remy, shows that it works. British Columbia shows that it works. Fee and dividend quickly reduces emissions, 50% reduction in 20 years. It gets, gives millions of good paying jobs, it saves lives, it stimulates the economy, and it fosters innovation in clean energy technologies and energy efficiency. To conservatives and liberals who are daring enough to look at the data, it is the solution that has the best chance at succeeding. Why? Because it doesn't rely on big government. It doesn't rely on the courts. Look what's happening right now with the clean power plan, folks, right? It will do the most and hurt the least of all of the possible solutions. Big Oil knows that carbon pricing is inevitable. They've already built it into their portfolios. They have, and it's not just oil. It's places like Walmart and other big companies, Microsoft. They've got carbon pricing in their future scenario. They just don't want to talk about it. They are protecting $27 trillion in assets that need to be stranded. Big fossil fuels, $27 trillion, with a T, guys that need to be stranded in order to, present, to prevent catastrophic climate disruption. Mass extinction, one in 10 global citizens becoming a climate refugee. That is what is at stake here. We still have a choice, but the clock is ticking. With this global crisis must be addressed right now. Every hour we recklessly allow greed to overrule sound science the solutions become more costly, and the risks are more dangerous, and the chance for a positive outcome is less and less certain. From space, there are no blue or red states, right? There's just one pale dot we call Earth that is our home, our refuge. And just as it was on that first Earth Day, when 22,000, no, sorry, 22 million people took to the streets and demanded clean water and clean air in the United States. This is what we need to do. We need to stand up. It is our moment. It is our legacy right now to say we must act on this. We must go to our representatives and tell them we want to put a price on carbon. We want to return the revenue to each household in monthly dividend. And we want to save humanity. Thank you. Sorry.